What is going on, guys? Today, I have another FIFA 18 video for you. This is player ratings. This is going to be the top 100, but from 100 to 81, and then EA are going to release more, and I'll make more videos for you guys. Uh, you may have seen this already yesterday for you guys uh, because I was asleep basically <laughs> when EA released it which is the case a lot of the time for people in Australia but all good I'm gonna upload this now and hopefully you do enjoy the video and I'll give my opinions on them as well uh, the players so here it says top 100 FIFA 18 rating showcase the top okay yeah we kind of get that use the hashtag yeah you kind of get the point there's top 100 players in FIFA 18 will be very interesting and there's going to be some, okay, yeah, at least there's descriptions of the players. So, yeah, we'll take a look at that. Uh, so, Bernardo Silva is 100. So, he comes in at 100, which in a way, it like sounds good and doesn't sound good. Like, there's still, like, he made top 100, but there's still 99 players better than him, technically. While well, there's going to be players on same ratings. But anyway, you can see uh, Revelation playing for Monaco last season. Bernardo Silva, uh, yeah, 89 dribbling, most definitely his standard. I wouldn't really point out 81 as something that's that's not too amazing honestly 81 for passing yeah not really but yeah if you play him out wide uh, definitely it says uh, he'll be a threat as a cam for any squad but they play him in right midfield like the position on the card is right mid so yeah I'd see him better on the wing but he has conflicting attributes because he's a very good dribbler but he's not so pacey 81 pace uh, so he's not going to be a type to run past you easily uh, but then if you want to play him centrally, well, he'll be out of position. <laughs> so, And then he's passing 81, which is solid but not too amazing. Uh, Sammy Kadera comes in next. He's 84. I'm not going to spend too much time. I don't want to yeah, be waiting on it too much. But at least, uh, yeah, Bernardo Silva, he's got four-star skill moves. I'll go pretty quickly till we get uh, to some other players. But don't forget, it's only up to 81. So Kadera, a good defensive midfielder. You can see he's always strong on the ball. He's a solid passer. See, that's the same position. Well, if you're going to think play central, but yeah, uh, for a central player, for his style of player, that's decent. You see him as more defensive midfielder. So his 80 passing is all right because you don't expect him to play through balls a lot. You expect him, his role is to win the ball back, use his strength, use his high. He's got high and high work rates though. Sometimes you can see him get forward. He's got a decent finish on him. So yeah, he could score some goals, but yeah, his role is to anchor the midfield <laughs> essentially, though he can get forward and get a shot on. Uh, then uh, Sadio Mane uh, from Liverpool, no doubt he's got a lot of pace on him, uh, dribbling, but I still don't find those players too attractive to me. It, I still got to use them in the game. We got to see, no doubt, yeah, he's going to be quick, uh, but for me, end product is really, really important. I like having attacking players with shooting over 80, so you can take advantage of those chances, honestly. So Danny Alves, uh, he used to be one of the better fullbacks, and he still, he's still, oh, if not the best, but he's still decent. Um, losing his pace, he's losing... Uh, it says he seems to be getting better with age, but that's not the case. He used to be better. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure what that means. He used to be rated higher in FIFA. If EA think he's better, why isn't his rating going up <laughs> compared to how he used to be? But uh, then Asensio, no doubt. Uh, obviously, he looks kind of... he's These players that have high potential, that are amazing in career mode, are generally those average players in ultimate team. There's going to be better option. No doubt he is a wonder kid with a U. But, yeah, like, he's going to be an amazing player. But these prospects, unfortunately, they're seen as average players in ultimate team. And, yeah, he's going to have a lot of fans. I'm a massive fan of uh, Asensio. Yeah, great talent, but in career mode is where he's going to be more popular compared to ultimate team, I'd say. Uh, Falcao, uh, you can see, yeah, he's lost a lot of pace, but you cannot doubt his goal-scoring ability. Like I said, even if a player is low in pace, at least if you have that shooting above 80, if you get that opportunity, one-on-one -on -one chance, there's a very good chance they're going to be able to uh, finish. No doubt he's a good striker, but obviously will hurt a few people who rely on pace, definitely, but... I'd probably like to play him with two men up front 
uh, honestly. But yeah, Akadi Akadi is a very good striker. Again, the 83 shooting. Again, not 80 pace, so it might scare some people off. But again, when you get in that position with him, he should be able to finish. Um, again, in, inside and outside the box, yeah, lethal. Dali Ali is absolute class. He's a bit of a funny one as well. So in my club on FIFA, Dali Ali scored twice against me. The most bang average player in the league has scored twice against me. So it's obviously an Arsenal fan. Bit bitter. <laughs> But yeah, you can see that he's got a good mix. I love these players that have about five solid attributes, five solid to good. The only thing he's not really good at is defending, but that's like one, and it's not terrible, 64, but yeah, really balanced. He's six foot two as well. He's just class. He doesn't have a standout attribute though. He doesn't have a really big standout one. His highest attribute is 82, but that's what you get with being balanced. But one thing that interests me because of that None of his individual ones there are higher than his rating, or at least his rating. With which most players, they have one. See, like Leno, yeah, 85. You look back, Akadi. Okay, he has 83, which is yeah, a bit closer, but Falcao, 80, 84, 84, you see what I mean? And then Sensio, 84, there's 83s. So <laughs> you get the point. But because Ali, yeah, he is more balanced. Leno, yeah, yeah, very strong goalkeeper. Uh, Marquisio, very experienced. He's like... he is even, uh, I suppose, more balanced than Dali Ali. I'm not saying he's better. Please <laughs> understand. I've got to say things clearly on YouTube. Marquisio, not better, but he's more balanced. His lowest attribute is 72. And in my experience using him in Ultimate Team, he's never been a bad shot. He's decent. He's got the high and high work rates. Yeah, going to be a, another good player to use in the Serie A. Yeah, the Serie A teams are good to make early because Premier League are very expensive players. I know it's fun to use Premier League squads, but yeah, Serie A can be those bargains and still quality guys. You can get uh, you get more bang for your buck, essentially. Uh, Rufier, yeah, d decent goalkeepers. Not so much to say about goalkeepers. Uh, you can't, uh, even though reflexes are important, I rate positioning and reflexes. So yeah, having a look at it, yeah, he's pretty... Pretty decently rated, honestly. Uh, Gunawan, uh, Manchester City lad, uh, he is he's a good player. Again, you can see his first year in England was cut short. Uh, this year, I think he wants to prove himself a bit more. So, yeah, he'll be itching to showcase. So I was given 87 dribbling. No doubt, yeah, always a good dribbler. He's, again, another type. As, uh, he's not too quick, but he's a guy that's good with the ball at his feet. And he'll be able to showcase that in your team. Uh, Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, important as well. If you know how to utilize that. Uh, Subasic, uh, yeah, um, he is, again, in the same kind of boat as a goalkeeper. He's got some solid rating. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the 79 handling. Yeah. Um, I, I've always questioned handling in FIFA how important it is because definitely reflexes and positioning, diving as well, but handling, I don't think, like, it's as important because when you think about it, the positioning of the goalkeeper is what I want to be good in FIFA because sometimes for goalkeepers, it can be terrible. And obviously their reactions would be more the reflexes. So yeah, definitely positioning reflexes and diving obviously for a low ball in the corner. So yeah, that's why. So I, I really see those attributes a bit more important. Uh, and then you can see Varane. Uh, it's a solid defender once more. He's not slow. He's, he's quick, definitely, for a centre-back and keep up with those pacier strikers. He's still got yeah, quality defending. I think his physical maybe should be at least 80 as well. I think, yeah, a bit underrated in that. But, yeah, just bump it up to 80 or 81. I'm sure he'll get it in form like that, which will be beastly. And then Camille Glick, he is uh, definitely solid at the back. Says he's a rock at the back right there. Very, very strong defensive stats. Again, some people might be scared away by his pace, 56. But, yeah, definitely he can yeah, push those defenders, uh, push those attacking players as a defender off the ball. So, yeah, as a defender, really, really strong. And you just need to know how to use those guys. And if you defend well, you should be able to stop the pace, essentially, if you're a good defender yourself in terms of playing. And uh, Bazawi, he is tall, six foot two. Tall enough, uh, high defensive work rate, low attacking so he doesn't get forward at all, make sure he stays back at all times. Uh, yeah, 88 defending is absolutely amazing. 73 physical, I wouldn't say that is completely underrated, but thought maybe 75, 76. But yeah, his defending yeah absolutely makes up for that. That's definitely the most important attribute as a defender. Uh, Vincent Company, you can see, you can compare the difference a bit, but he's solid. He's, he isn't too quick. He's at 63, which makes him not slow exactly, but 
Yeah, he's not too far away from being yeah a bit slower in terms of like when a pacey striker comes up against him, he could run uh, run past him if you don't use his height to advantage, which you got to do with his defensive yeah defensive attributes, which he does have there, and yeah partner that with the six foot four. If you use him effectively, he can be a good centre back uh, for you, uh, part of your Premier League squad, or maybe if you want to build a bit of a Belgium squad as well. It definitely, you'll be yeah, putting him at the back there. Then Henrik Mkhitaryan, um, he, he's quick. He's got the pace, not overly pacey though, like that 90 and above, but he's got five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, high and high work rates. I like those players. They play an important role in your team, especially when it comes to terms of the weekend league. You want players that are not going to give up and you want to go all game essentially. So these kind of players are important but you got to keep in mind their fitness could go lower if they're working hard during the game but yeah they're going to put in a good shift for you without a doubt uh Yannick Carrasco it feels like I'm just like analyzing I'm reviewing these players and how important they'll be for you I suppose that's all right yeah these are my opinions on the players and that's why I wanted to make these videos essentially and to show you the ratings but also to give my opinion a little bit but anyway Yannick Carrasco another pacey beast I said I like the shooting to be at least 80. It's going to depend on his individual attributes, but I think he's going to be actually amazing. 85 overall, 88 pace. When pace is partnered with good dribbling, players are amazing. That's what I mean. Pacey players, I don't feel like I'm too effective with pacey guys who are not good at dribbling. you got to try and uh, try and see the difference most definitely. If there's a player who – I just want to check him out uh, for a second. If there's someone more pacey – there are a lot of defenders around this area. Uh, that's how they sorted it, I guess. But, yeah, in terms of more attacking players, I'm not sure if there's too many here uh, with the pace. Uh, yeah, there's Mane. Yeah, there's not too many. It's rare, but some of those strikers, yeah, they just got pace, and maybe if their dribbling is a bit lower, they're not as effective. So you got to look at those uh, if you want to see how effective they're going to be. But yeah, like you see, we're at the end of the list there. Uh, Tostega makes it 81, and he's a well-rounded keep. He's uh, a bit slow, 38 speed, not something you look for in a goalkeeper because it's always going to be pretty low. But yeah, compared to the others, I saw that um, 38. But Apart from that, he's very, very solid all over 80. I think he's going to be a, a good goalkeeper for you. I've used him before, but I've had better keepers, and I think his kicking increases his rating a little bit more. If I judge off his other goalkeeping attributes, which is important, I really – kicking's important. Like, you don't want them to be completely terrible, but – it's like you want the other attributes to be good as well. Like I take 87 positioning over <laughs> the, like the kicking, you know what I mean? So anyway, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So uh, again, you can pre-order Icon Edition if you like. So I'm going to be making a few more of these videos whenever EA release. Well, I'm not going to go through the trailer as that's not really... Yeah, the point of this video, I watched it already, so they, they don't show the ratings actually in the video. It's just yeah, kind of a bit of a funny one, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, so I will leave it there for now. Again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified when I make my FIFA 18 videos. Uh, I'll be making them as soon as the early access on Xbox One via EA Access will be available. Uh, so I'm excited to get going 21st of September. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy the video and I will see you guys next time.